Good morning, everybody. If it's morning by you, if it's not, well, I'm just saying good day to everybody. Up well, pretty early this morning. It's now four something in the morning. It's not five yet. And uh, most people are asleep. But I want to talk about Patrick Day. Patrick Day is still in a coma, as so far as I do know, in the hospital. He has not regained consciousness since that fight with Corno. And that's some serious stuff. Um, if you guys are praying for him, please keep your prayers on him. Ali Bashir, he is able to survive. Cole Shelton Harris, uh, your prayers are very necessary, brother. I'll go on your channel and also let you know who uh, the person is, Patrick Day. Um, sport of boxing, again, it's not a, it's not a sport where you play sport of boxing okay um well as of in the sport of boxing we've been hearing a lot about terrence crawford so he's, he's been very relevant these days so that's a very good thing <clears throat> excuse me um i heard different people debating different things so we've been debating different subjects in uh in, in, in the sport of boxing. Um, one of them, uh, the topic that I hear people talk about is they don't think that Usyk would stand a chance against Deontay Wilder. Why is he calling out these guys? And Hybrid95 did a video on it. And, you know, people talking about he's clutches and stuff. What I want to talk about is another aspect of the whole thing. It not nothing to do with necessarily him facing Deontay Wilder. People can go with that discussion if they want to Anthony Joshua Tyson Fury they can they can, they can go with that I, I personally think that the style that Usyk employs counts for him to be able to close the distance on these guys and so it can become quite a difficult task to negotiate that when you have athletic strong uh, big heavyweights super heavyweights as we call them and Usyk being not even the heavyweight right now, um, it's going to be a challenge for him. Especially given the fact that uh, he faced Tony Bellew and Bellew was landing his punches on him. If Bellew can land punches on him, these elite these elite uh, heavyweights will land punches on him. And from the way how he takes punches and the way how he's being pushed around by Chad Witherspoon, because Chad Witherspoon, for all this... Uh, <laughs> It's just he was just so much bigger than um he was so much bigger than um you know it's a much bigger guy than uh and he even punched a lot harder than uh Usyk. Right? So as I said, I, I personally think that Usyk is not a heavyweight right now. I think he's now getting into heavyweight. He built up a lot of size and mass, but he still has more room to go to really get into full heavyweight. He's not hitting like a heavyweight. I don't think so, at least. He's getting the job done, but he's not hitting like a heavyweight. You look at the Chad Witherspoon, how he punches. And you look at how Usyk punches. It's, 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 it's miles different, okay? You can tell Chad is a heavyweight. And Chad's not even a, a very big heavyweight. He's, he's 6'4", but he's not a very big heavyweight, you know? So I think Usyk needs to be tested a little bit more. He needs to get a little bit stronger, um, acclimatized to the weight a little bit better. As you can see, Usyk is a very fit fighter, but you know you need a little bit more than that. Um, but he's going to do something that uh, Evander Holyfield did, you know. So he's going up in weight, so it, it does make a difference. And he even talked about how it was different fighting at heavyweight. Even though he fought at heavyweight in the Olympics, not super heavyweight, by the way, he said it's different fighting at heavyweight, and it's true. Um, but this is what I really want to talk about: possible opponents for us, Alex uh, Alexander Usyk next. It could be Tyrone Spong, right? The guy he was supposed to face. That could be his next opponent. But some people are talking about Joseph Parker. I think that. Good opponents should be guys that are not big heavyweights right now. 
Eddie Chambers comes to mind. Eddie Chambers hasn't gotten a fight in like forever. That's a good guy for Usyk to face. Um, Eddie Chambers might need a tuna fight or two, but he's a, he's a guy out there that faced, I think, some top level opposition. And how would he fare against him? Derek Chisora would be a lovely test for him because Derek Chisora, he's not a big, big heavyweight, but yet at the same time, he's very strong and he don't have much defense, but he's still a very determined fighter. That would be a good uh, test again for Alexander Usyk. Okay. Dillian White would be a really good test. That would be like high caliber test for Alexander Usyk. Danny White's not really a big puncher. A lot of people think he is, but he's not really. Um, but at the same time, he can knock you out. So therefore, that would be a good... Because Danny White thinks and stuff. It would be a good fight for Usyk. There's Michael Hunter, who's just entered heavyweight as well. Good boxing skill, etc. He would be a good test for Usyk. Now, if Usyk wants to make a big leap up, having a, seen what, what heavyweights hit like and stuff, then he could make a big jump and he could go face an opponent like uh, Luis Ortiz. Yeah, that'd be pretty risky, though. Um, Ortiz can crack and he can knock you out. So, but that would be a big jump up, you know, depending on how Ortiz performs against Wilder. There's Gerald Washington. There's Dominic Brazil. All of these are good tests. There is um, that softball kid who was once an IBF world champion. I forgot what his name is. But there's him. There's Cunningham. Cunningham's still around somewhere, right? I don't know if Antonio Tarver's retired, but Tarver's another guy. He came up from lightweight, light heavyweight. You know, if you can get to Antonio Tarver, that would be a good one too. Um, so you have some, you have some couple guys out there who, they're not big, big heavyweights. I mean, Dominic Brazil is a big heavyweight, but he's not that great a boxer. So, you know, you can test yourself with those guys. From what I hear, I don't know how this is happening, but they're alleging that Eddie Hearn said that Usyk would be fighting for the WBO title. I don't know how that's possible because Andy Ruiz is the holder of that belt. Um, Usyk's talking about the winner of Ruiz and uh, Joshua being a possible opponent. I think he should first of all get a little bit stronger so he can deal with whatever comes his way in the division. I think he needs to be a little bit stronger um, all around, all around in his boxing. I don't think his boxing is bad. I just think that he needs to be stronger. If he gets in any difficulty whatsoever, you know, it could be, it could be, it could be curtains for everyone. So that's what I got to say for now. Much blessings to you guys. Peace.